This is how I fix the cell phone or tablet charger cord instead of tossing it away. And I can use it in my garage. Over time the cover of these cables usually break exposing the wires. If you catch it on time you can fix them like I did to this one almost two years ago using shrink tubes usually used on low voltage wiring. This one started cracking just past the tube too so I can add another piece and do the USB side that just started cracking as well. I have a set of different size shrink tubes that will fit over the socket to get it on top of the damaged wire. I'll put a link in the description if you need some. Just pick the closest size and insert it in from the smaller plug side. This one will be a little tight because I already have a shrunk tube on it but with a little patience it will go through. So I'm going to slide two more tubes. One for the USB side where it's beginning to peel and another to extend the existing repair. For a better grip, it's a good idea to shrink it on the socket or the grommet that holds the wire in the socket as well. If you've never shrunk tube, try not to let the flame touch the tube for long. You can also use a blow dryer to heat them. If using a lighter, it's a good idea to use one of those barbecue lighters with a long nozzle. This will avoid getting burnt. These tubes have a 3 to 1 shrink ratio. It shrinks one third of its original diameter and makes a tight seal. It eliminates the problem of the 2 to 1 tube not shrinking tight enough. There's tubes also that have a glue inside as well. When heat is applied, the adhesive comes out and seals, creating a waterproof and long lasting insulation. I'll put the link for those as well. Looks nice and tight and we move on to the second repair. Insert the tube slide it over the smaller socket and line it up over the damaged area. And finally heat shrink it. This is an original Apple cord not an aftermarket where the contacts on the spade here get worn after less than a year use so it's well worth the time to reinforce them like this. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.